So Debs, yeah. you at this time um, are just entering w- through a series of circumstances that are beautiful and have laid themselves out and strategically as well, uh, are entering Dignitas project. What is Dignitas and how uh, does your first few months and first few weeks um, pan out there? Yeah. yeah. So Dignitas, first of all, is an organization that uh, works in the education development space. Mm-hmm. And our vision is that all schools should be vibrant places for children to thrive and succeed. Mm-hmm. Recognizing the centrality of a, a school um, to a child's development, uh, their opportunities to learn and grow, um, not just uh, mentally or academically, but, but socially, emotionally, physically. Um, at, at ensuring those schools are the right places that our children need. Mm. Um, so when I joined Dignitas, and, and that was um, January 2018 when I joined full time, um, it was really for me a deep dive into the education space. Mm-hmm. Education had always been a part of, of, of what I'd done. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the journey through Seed of Hope was largely kind of focused in that um, tertiary vocational education space. So it's a really quite different. Dignitas' focus is on primary schools. Um, and of course, I'd, I'd done my master's, which was education and, and international development, but I'd never really taken a deep dive and a deep dive into such a particular niche. Um, because at Dignitas, all of our work is focused around school leadership. Mm, mm. So there was this huge learning curve around what it meant for school leaders to be these agents of change within schools that would ensure children can thrive and succeed. Mm. Um, I found myself going back to the textbooks from my masters mm. and thinking, I'm sure I read about this somewhere. I have to figure it out. Mm. Um, doing a huge amount of reading, just mm. trying to learn as much as possible, mm. but then also learning a new organization. Mm. And there's a really interesting dynamic, I think, when you come in as the leader of an organization that you don't know, Mm. because you rely on everyone around you Mm. who is your junior Mm. to tell you how the organization runs, (laughs) yet they're looking to you Mm. for all the answers as to how the organization should run. Mm -hmm. So it's this kind of strange place of... It's an interesting dynamic. Yeah, Mm. figuring out how have things typically run around here? Mm. Where are the gaps? Where are the strengths? Um, What can we build on? Um, I think one of the the great things um, I found in Dignitas was a really strong um, team culture. Mm. So um, despite having not had an executive director for almost a year at that point, not having the the kind of leadership they needed, Mm. um, the team was pretty strong. Mm -hmm. They had kept things ticking over. Um, there was very little that had fallen through the cracks. Mm. Um, and, and so they modeled for me a really great team culture mm. in how they supported one another, mm. in um, even just across the team, how they bought into the vision of mm. the organization, the way they owned it, mm. um, and how they helped each other to grow and develop. Mm. That there was a real strong sense of that value of we're all learning and growing and as we do so our work grows mm. um, and so I really benefited from kind of plugging into that culture mm. Mm. Um, and I remember thinking we have to be really intentional to maintain mm. this, this culture and mm. this strong team culture as we go. What do you think is the root, what, what causes that kind of thing from your, ex- when you observed <clears throat> that what do you think was, mm-hmm. what, 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 what led to it being that way? Um, I think for us leadership matters. Mm-hmm. I, I think everywhere Mm. and it's so interesting and even as I was digging into this kind of skill leadership stuff and trying to figure that out Mm -hmm. it struck me that in the corporate world we place this huge value on leadership Mm -hmm. we headhunt leaders we pay them a fortune we invest in their development Mm -hmm. and it's a huge piece of of how we ensure there's success in corporate entities and, and, Mm. and other entities But in the education world, we don't typically do the same thing. We don't value leadership in the same way. Mm. Um, And I think sadly, sometimes in the development world, Mm. it's the Mm. same thing. Mm. Um, Maybe beginning to shift Mm -hmm. now. And I think this is one Mm. great platform Mm. to Mm. to highlight some of those key leadership pieces Mm. um, from across the sector. Mm. But Mm. um, leadership matters. And and one phrase that has always stuck with me, and I don't know who said it originally, mm-hmm. I should probably find out, mm. is um, culture eats strategy for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, P- Peter Tucker, he's a management uh, guru. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, yes. I, I, don't I know, know that that's the Peter second okay. name, but he's a Drucker. Peter someone, Tucker, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. um, 
So, so that always stuck with me, and I think because coming into that culture at Dignitas,、mm. it struck me that that's true. Right. That anything this team does that will be successful、mm. is rooted in that strong team culture,、mm-hmm. and, and even their success over the year or so、mm. without good leadership,、mm. um, where they had that gap,、mm. um, they were able to keep things going because、mm. the culture was strong.、Mm-hmm. So leadership matters,、mm-hmm. I think, would be the first thing.、Mm-hmm. But I think also. For many of us, a different type of leadership from what we're used to.、Mm. I think、um, what we see in a lot of organisations is very kind of top-down leadership,、mm-hmm. um, and this kind of very hierarchical.、Mm. <laughs> the boss has to say before I do anything.、Mm. Um, sadly, people with huge potential not empowered to even think, never mind act、mm. <laughs> on their own.、Mm. Um, and so, I think a type of leadership that kind of transcends that. Hierarchy、mm-hmm. uh, and recognizes that each person in the organization is there、mm-hmm. because they have a skill set that the organization needs, because、mm-hmm. they have experience and expertise that the organization needs. And、mm-hmm. if you don't let them bring that to the table,、mm-hmm. then why are they there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.、Uh, and so,、um, leading in a way that allows each person to lead,、mm-hmm. essentially,、mm-hmm. and allows each one to in their in an appropriate way for their kind of. Position and, and opportunity and, and experience,、mm. allowing them to lead based on their own set of、mm. experience and mm. expertise, mm. and bringing all that together, obviously in a way that's meaningful for、mm. the entire organization.、Mm. Um, and so it's kind of cliche, but that kind of like leading from behind and yeah. And, yeah. And, and it's largely this kind of like asset-based approach as well, which、yeah. I think resonates with the work we do at Dignitas.、Mm. For、mm. like, what are your strengths?、Mm-hmm. How can you bring those strengths to the table,、mm. and, and how can your strengths、mm-hmm. help us achieve our vision as an organization?、Mm. Um, and, and I find that's a that it's a great way to then have people buy into the vision、mm. and, and begin、mm. to own the vision.、Mm. Um, and I think that's what makes any organization successful.、Okay. All right.、Mm. So there was a desire to grow.、Mm-hmm. At that point, we were working with, I think, twenty-one schools. Okay. And、um, we had a team of fourteen.、Mm-hmm. Um, so we had, compared to what I'd come from in Vision Africa, a significant resource, but we were doing quite a small amount of work.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> And it struck me as, in some ways, very inefficient. <laughs>、mm-hmm. Because we had this huge amount of resource. Yes, we were investing deeply in the schools we were partnering with.、Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I couldn't stop thinking about how much more we could do if we structured the work slightly differently.、Mm-hmm.